Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about inheritance, all right? And um, I've actually made a video about inheritance, so if you haven't watched it, you can just go ahead. I'm going to leave a link right there. But in today's video, I'm just going to go one step further and explain um, the super keyword and what exactly happens when you override a method, okay? So uh, what we're going to do is just open up the playground, and the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create uh, a very simple class. So I'm going to call this parent. All right. And now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a property over here called balance. And by default, this is going to be zero. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create an initializer so that we can basically initialize this class. And basically when we do this, we're going to call a method called um, do some investment. So just say or make some investments. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and create this method called make some investments. And in this method, what's going to happen is we're going to set balance to be equal to, I'm going to say, 1 billion. All right. So we made 1 billion from this investment. Cool. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here, and actually, this is something that you're probably already aware of. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more method called um, print balance or let's say print or display account balance. And basically what this is going to do is just do a very simple print statement saying count balance. Oh, what am I doing? And this is basically going to be balance. All right. Now, um, so basically, again, this is just a very simple class. We have a balance and whenever you initialize uh, this class, it's going to make an investment automatically. And this investment is going to yield a billion dollars. And we're basically just setting the balance right here. And we also have a method here called display account balance, which is going to display whatever the balance is. All right. Very simple. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a second class called um, child. And this child is going to inherit from the parent. Okay. Now, what does this mean? Whenever you inherit from the parent, you basically have all of the attributes, the, the uh, variables and the methods that are available in the parent and the child. So here we can basically just say child be equal to child. And if we try to print or just call child dot um, display account balance, we should get a billion dollars, right? Simple enough, right? So what happens when we try to make our own investment? So let's say this child is born and the child doesn't want to do some investment that the parent did, but this time the child wants to invest in Apple or whatever other company. So the child just comes right here in the child class and says, make some investments, right? Now, right here, what the child did was invest in let's say apple or tesla or whatever and then the balance was incremented and then the child now has let's say the child got a million dollars we can just do it like that so one or well, let's say a thousand dollars let's say a thousand dollars should i give more now nah. okay let's say ten thousand dollars anyhow so the child made, made some investments and then got $10,000. Now, if we go ahead and print or display the account balance, what do you think the result is going to be? Oops, the child only has $10,000. So what exactly happened here? Now, if you look over here, you would notice that since we have a method in the child that also exists in the parent, what has to happen is that that function needs to be overridden right and whenever you override a method what happens is that the compiler is basically going to disregard the um uh, uh implementation in the parent class so the the compiler is basically going to not do or execute this particular line of code instead the compiler is going to come over to the override block for this class and then execute the code for the block okay so again basically what is happening is the compiler is basically is going to disregard this and just come over here and um, execute the code that's here 
okay? But what happens or what do we do when we want to basically execute whatever is in the parent and then perform whatever modifications we want to, we want to do? Very simple. All we need to do is come over here and use the keyword super and then we call whatever method we want to call. In our case, we want to call make some investments. Now, if we go ahead and run this again, you would notice that now the child has the billion dollars from the parent's investment and then the $10,000 from the child's own investment. So let's look at this. What exactly happened? Now, whenever you use the keyword super, you're basically making reference to the parent, right? So the parent class that was inherited from, and then you can basically access the um, attributes that are there or the um, methods, just like in our case, the we access this uh, make some investments method. So usually you would notice that um, when you're writing code, for example, if you had, um, let's say, class view controller that conforms to UI view controller and you try to implement view the load, you would notice that by default, the override method has been you know, inserted. This means, again, that every implementation that was made in the parent class is going to completely be discarded. And then whatever you put right here is what is going to be executed. So usually in cases when you override, it's safer for you to just call super and the same method. So when you call this or the super, of the same method is basically going to implement the um, code that should be executed in the parent class. And then you can make whatever modifications you want to make over here. All right. So um, that's basically what I wanted to show you about um, the super keyword. So if you have questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. And um, on the next video, you guys stay cool. Yeah.